good morning. It's the 3rd of July, so Saturday. Um, I don't really know what to say. Um, this week my mum's had a bit of an accident, had a bad back and hurt back. So it's been a bit of an all over kind of week. Um, so she's currently getting herself sorted. I'm going to go out for the day because I need to get some bits and bobs from town. I'm going to take some stuff out to H&M. Um, yeah, so I'll take you along with me. I don't think there'll be much to see. Um, the last two weekends I'm putting together as one video because not much happened again. So I might do that. I might add this onto that. Who knows? We'll, we'll just find out how the weekend goes. Um, the only exciting thing that happened this week is I went to watch Lion King. Liked it, but didn't love it. Um, controversially, Beyonce spoils it for me. <sighs> what can I say? Right, I'm gonna go. I'm very hot. It's very warm again. Um, and see what happens today. Morning, it's Sunday the 4th and my back has gone today, so yay! Morning, it's Saturday the 10th of August, it's currently cowboy time. The neighbour has been singing again. Um, I've just literally just woken up um, by the house for my grandma, I don't know what, I didn't answer it, mum did. I don't know what she wanted, but there was a lot of talk about this yes I have to pay for it when you buy something you have to pay for it and then I mentioned a hotel at Blackpool so I don't know what <laughs> I don't know what that was about um and I just said good morning I don't know what's going on today because they're decorating the kitchen a bit but I'm gonna go and see the last few weeks I've said I woke up and up for you, well, well, same again this weekend. My ears have been sore all week, um, and last night my throat started to go itch it, and it's definitely sore. I've just spied a packet of Sudafed, so I might have some of that. I'll see if I can actually get some kettle and make a brew. Good morning, it's Sunday the 11th of August. Oh, it's way too early for this trip. It's 9am um, and I realised I didn't film anything else after town yesterday. I didn't really do anything, which was no surprise. Um, the only thing, oh, I returned stuff in town yesterday. I managed to return my H&M stuff using the e receipt. It was a little bit traumatic. The guy in the store had never seen um, an app receipt. Um, 
it wouldn't work on my tail but he did eventually manage to do it I'm not sure if I'm worse off or better off but when I bought the things I bought the play suit and the dress and I bought a bag for my mum and I bought a little makeup bag for my gran um, so it was £19 I spent and I got a £3 voucher so I paid 16 when I got my refund I got £14 £14.35 or £14.32 refunded um, so I'm not quite sure how that works I realised that I wouldn't get my discount back so if that's the case I think I'm 32p up um, I don't really understand the receipt but I'd spent that long I was kind of just sort of grateful to get anything back I think what I got back was the on the HM visits I think everything goes through pre that and I think I got back that which I'm fine about because I did have that voucher so we're not going to argue um, and then the only other thing that I bought was some birthday stuff from my friend's little boy who I hope it's going to be three I've got this total on oh, not on mine but like, it must be being three um, but birthday cards for children are still very very gendered um so basically it was like a very pink sparkly number three or a very boyish three so i went for paw patrol because nobody likes dogs um, and i've got him a card somewhere And inside of it it's got like a bit where you can colour in I think Whoa. Uh, so that was 99p from card factory and then other than B&M home bargains there's not a lot of places to buy kids stuff but we do have an entertainer so I nipped him on the off chance me in my head thinking the entertainer would be very expensive and to some degree yes, but to some degree no, because there was a massive, massive sale on. Um, these don't have the original prices, but basically I spent £13.55 on the following eight items, which I don't think is bad. So I got this Happy Families and Action Game. I used to love Happy Families when I was a child. Um, detailed instructions included. So I'm assuming there's like two games. I don't know. I was the only child. I didn't play games. Um, a that was 99p or a pound. That was pound. Um, I got this Paw Patrol watch, which was two pounds eighty. <clears throat> Paw Patrol storybook. Pup saves the runaway kittens. I bought like it's got kittens in it. Pup saves the soccer game. I got that because it's got that really cool cat on the front. Activity fun book. I got this because he likes stickers. Does this have stickers in it? Or maybe not. I don't know why I got that. Um, I got a colouring book. And oh, and a sticker activity book. Each of those were 99p. Then um, I've had to break this thing up because I couldn't get it in a bag. But it was a pack of three games. So these were attached. So this is like frustration, Paw Patrol frustration, which I used to love. It's called Papa Junior game. Um, and then there is a 24 piece jigsaw puzzle so you can see it was in this pack so frustration was attached to that um, and then 
it's jumbo playing cards. Now I nearly bought these. They have these <clears throat> in a pack like that, just a little bit bigger. And I feel like this is probably going to be a massive waste of packaging. See if I can open this without opening it for a minute. And so I've just had to change memory card, so I don't know if that last bit recorded, so I'm going to do it again. Um, but basically, in this lovely, very size present box, you get this box and some instructions. Um, and they are basically just playing cards but I was going to buy these separately for a pound um four pound eighty for those three other games I mean I would have paid four pound eighty for frustration and so on and to be honest that's what I thought I was picking up and I was actually quite surprised when um I lifted it off the shelf and the other two were attached to which I just dropped um right I'm gonna go see if I can help with some of this decorating and then, I don't know what we're going to do today. It is Yanks weekend, I don't know if I mentioned that yesterday. And I wouldn't mind going up there, but I think, I don't know if you can see for the weather. It's right now. Let me change the battery as well. Okay, bye. Good evening, um, it's now about 10pm 10, 10 on Sunday, um, just come on to end this vlog. Oh, that was going to hiccup. Um, we haven't done anything today apart from decorate the kitchen, which I've shown you some clips of. Um, to be honest, I didn't really do much. Held a bit of paper. But it's slowly getting there. Um, I did want to go out because I did want to try and get a few little bits today, but I think getting that kitchen sorted is, um, is more important. I really need to go to bed. <sighs> and I am tired. But I just don't want to go to bed yet. Um, I went to sort of New York on and off all weekend. Um, I was getting ill towards the end of last week. I'm just a bit run down. Um, so I'm trying to keep hydrated. Mm. There's a bit left, but the straw I can't get to it. Mm. Oh well, never mind. <clears throat> um, so I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, and apologies for the quality of these vlogs the last couple of weeks have not been great. Um.